Welcome back to more Higurashi. Things are definitely ramping up. Considering it's the last couple of episodes of this season, I'm expecting some good things. If that actually means overtaking the trouble that Takano has caused, maybe making right this world this time. Well, they're in good hands because everyone seems to be pulling their weight, even those that weren't involved. Shion just jumping in, having no knowledge of the situation. Coming out on top. It's all looking good. Well, unless you're a photographer. His fate is a little more uh, up in the air. But there really is little to say about it. Just that I think we all need to see what happens next. As if there is success, are we moving past this summer? What's the next trial? Grab a drink so we can find out. Well, with a chapter title like that, we can only hope for the best. Hopefully though, it's more metaphorical than in a little foretelling. And how much interaction and agency is Han Yu going to have, considering this is the first time that she's been part of the group in a kind of physical form? I do like how there is though well, there was so many questions left unanswered and just wholly confusing. And Higurashi has so far answered most of them. Unless there's many that I'm forgetting. But now I've just idle words and plots that were put in the first season. Makes so much sense. And... Navar, little princess. I see they're taking this seriously. A more intercepting of call cool, ah uh, not intercepting calls, it's Is there trouble brewing? Takano is now what being siphoned off. She's caused too much trouble. Well they're one and the same, aren't they right now? Even if she puts on a nice voice. But what will it cost? However, what? He was different back before she... But, ah, no, just going straight into, I'll give you money. Thinking that she could just buy allegiance. Well, he held out without giving anything. Was there at least a pang of regret there? Well, 
without hang ha having to hold back. Hmm. Which also means what? Are they going to be stumbling into a trap with their overconfidence? However, with great numbers and equipment, surely it should be easy, right? Are they completely emptying the... Yeah, that would get a few heads turning. Are they completely emptying the base of operations? So Tomotaki is left by himself there. Well, seems to be proceeding nicely for them. I mean, there could be at least a little bit more trepidation, even if you think you've got it all uh, down pat. So multi-pronged approach. How's it going to, how are they going to fight back in all of this? So, Yeah, looks like... Yeah, who would? But is that just a distraction from the main... Is there going to be ropes or something? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, who would fall in a pit for... Oh. Oh, no. Well... He's got a broken spine. Surprising how cartoonish the log... Well, they're the ropes I asked for. The log run was just then. Why is he terrified of that? Damn it, we shouldn't have uh, underestimated them. Who would have thought they would want to fight back? I mean, we do have the master of uh, of traps, at least on hand. I was about to say, with them all leaving the uh, the base of operations, does it leave it open? So we'll, we'll have to find a way to get in? Well, do they really think that she hasn't revoked his access? So they have to get through that door without being noticed. Mm. Well, the guy having coffee at least. Go for that plan. Sneak in as members of their, their, their task force again. Shouldn't they have their own key cards? I mean, didn't even check to see if it was locked. <laughs> he was just trying to enjoy a coffee. 
Maybe he should have taken his break elsewhere. Yeah, they didn't stop the alarm, did they? Such as? Do they have, like, bulkheads and gas? Gas. Almost exactly what I said. Let's find some gas masks. Well, if you don't go in, then why was he wrecking like that? Then they'll be taken out by the gas. I mean, blind firing is one thing. So that's why he was, you know, racking those rounds enough. They just have to outlast the, the... How confident are you in the walls? They're not being very considerate, are they? <laughs> no reaction in the slightest. Does he still have slug in there? Looks like they complied. A, yeah, I was about to say, a butt to the face. I want to see a side story just on him. I mean, the alarm may have been turned off, but does that mean it's safe to go running around the hallways? And it really doesn't look very happy. Why are the lights off in here? Are they trying to save on the electricity bill? He doesn't look very happy about... There's the bear. How much... muscle mass has he lost over the uh, year or so that he's been kind of... You know, Bedridden, strapped down as well. Y yeah, I don't think they'd keep him like that, so preserved if he wasn't. Well, alive is one thing. The is it so simple? So if he was to come out of a sedated state, he would immediately yeah, succumb to the level five If he's exposed to a serious amount of calm and relaxation, maybe. I mean, not in his current state. Why do you think he is trying to treat him?
but the joy of seeing him alive quickly overcome right there such a harsh fate giving her a bit of hope just for that he's not saying that it's impossible it's taken some time but there's he's fighting <laughs> So, if he's in a comatose state, you know, sedated like this, do you think that a kind voice might be able to expedite his recovery? That is going to be the proof that he's he's fixed, isn't it? If the bear gets delivered. I think... I Personally, I think that might be for the best, you know. Hearing her voice. How soundproofed are those windows then? Uh, is it because they've... Yeah, it's that wild firing through the door. Trying to prove a point. <laughs> I was going to say, we saw that one. They would have blocked off all the roads. Yep, had at least someone keeping watch. Or just break through. I don't think many vehicles would be able to just tank one of those. But the fact that she now knows so she is alive, but also having to just leave him here. And now we're back. We're back to the task at hand. More logs. How taut is that? A barrel. Well, that middle guy's got some broken ribs. But just one. Barrel for the three of them? <laughs> so now they've done with the guerrilla warfare, they're getting into psychological. <laughs> Kate, you might need some uh, acting lessons. But the timing with the cloud formation coming in. They got that one spot on. Yeah. Well, maybe they should get someone else to be the uh, you know, radio operator. Seems he's losing his cool a little. Did he just... Yeah, he just got spooked by a tree. <laughs> to be fair, didn't expect it to be so powerful. J 
just yeah, just like the fact that they're now just like, ha, you scared them shitless and made them thought their lives were in danger. Into this. Yeah, it did actually. Uh, now go into this kind of carefree moment amongst them all. If you mean shaking them up a little and one guy running, sure, but... Now that the Major is on scene... Yeah, he can't exactly put out a spread for her. How much is she paying for these these morons? That will be deducted from his paycheck. But sympathizing with the enemy. Get your heads out of your asses. What the hell are you doing? Huh. Wanted to fight the gods themselves. Damn, the report went through. So they've lost on two fronts. Is this message going to be intercepted? But the fact that she is losing, losing grip on the situation, they're now talking behind the back, so we've got paid, this isn't working. Send off word, see what we have to do now to cover up the failures. It definitely does seem as though it's going well for our ragtag group of uh, children. And if there's only one episode left of this season, it's either going to wrap it up really, relatively quickly and then do a little after word of everything that happened or save it for... Right near the end, and there being something else, some one big roadblock that it's kicked up for them. Because soon they mentioned anti tank you know, missiles and stuff, then uh, I've got an idea of what might happen. Now, what if they try to break through a car at low speed? And apart from... That doesn't seem to be... going too fast. That didn't sound like a RPG being fired. Do they have some help from above? But I do like the you know, the fights on multiple fronts going into the clinic. Just to kind of clear out the riffraff of who's left. But also to go see uh, Satoshi. 
and knowing that with their with his actual research, Ivier has managed to uh, attain something at least, kept him level with a small bit of improvement down the line. I do like that when he was introduced, Irie was like, there was a small bit of suspicion about him. Why is this guy? But the more we see, the more on the level he is throughout all of it. He's got a very strong kind of code of ethics and he is only trying to mitigate losses by agreeing to some of the stuff that Takano has done. Doing his utmost as a practitioner and doctor to try and heal. I'm really surprised what they've been able to accomplish with a few ropes, an oil drum, and some time in the forest. Setting up some of those traps aren't exactly difficult as long as you've got enough tension in some of the branches one you're using. But just pitfall traps, while not necessarily deadly, it depends on how deep that they dug them. I really loved the multi-level trap to that. You have, I'm guessing there was more than just two, you know, just for redundancy's sake, but at least you've got the small holes on the outskirts of it where you have to walk around and then a massive distraction in the center. All you need to yeah, all you need to do get a few twigs, get a few leaves, plunk them down there. I think that is the hole. That was great. As long as there's no strong wind. I would say that at the bottom of those individual little uh, tripping hazards, usually there'd be some sort of like punji stick. But since they're doing the non-lethal approach, probably just enough to sprain an ankle. But so much now, I do like how it was kind of suggested that, you know, Takano was so lonely. She's never had anyone that she could actually put some trust into. It was only her, her the granddad. Considering her, her past, I can see why she'd be struggle a little to open up to people and believe them. Considering everyone that was on her side suddenly shifted as soon as the money stopped. So that's one. The only way she knows how to keep people in line. So I tell Taka, oh, I'll, I'll pay you. So, really? I do wonder if all funding and whatnot is pulled and the clinic has to you know, stop doing what it is because of, you know, research is no longer needed. What's going to happen to Satoshi? Is he really going to continue trying to help him? Is the fact that the, this village needs the doctors uh, that the that uh, that side of it at least still is uh, going to be in practice? I'm sure with the amount of people r behind them, they can find a way to keep it open, considering they've got friends in many a places. Definitely does seem too good to be true, though. Everyone pulling off their missions spectacularly. Tomotaki is just seem very unlucky. If it's not being kidnapped, it's being fired at with a rocket-propelled grenade. The universe itself is trying to tell him, you're supposed to die here. Why isn't it happening? But even if Rika and the village is saved, there's still the matter of the underbelly, the organisation in Tokyo. If we can't take that down today, maybe in the next season? Or maybe they'll just cut ties and tyres, like this is, you know, it's too hot, just, no, nope, we're dropping everything. I mean, somewhere else would be screwed later on, but at least it's not this village right now. That's what's necessary. But Higurashi is a good watch. I'm enjoying it, and hopefully you are as well. If that is the case, let me know. If 
you leave a like on the video, it really helps out. Maybe a comment or two, tell me what you might have done differently. If you had to try and home alone the mountains, what kind of traps would you lay? But to make sure not to miss out, consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even join onto my Discord for daily notifications of, well, whenever I upload. But for now, get yourselves a bit of a rest, so that I can see you in the next one. If you want to lay traps in the way of all of my potential adversaries, consider joining onto my Patreon, because then I can fight back without the need to actually dig too many holes. And so, I need to thank Sal, Guado, Kite, Ruben Fenamara, Wolfie Sensei and everyone else for keeping my channel safe with the oil barrel of their support. So, once again, thank you.